What about the iron ore uh, price, prices yesterday and, and the surge that it's on at the moment? Yeah, it's quite extraordinary, Pete. Um, biggest monthly ever iron ore exports as well as the iron ore price hits $136 US a tonne, and that's the best price we've seen since 2013. So it's, it's quite interesting, and of course, you know, our number one customer for iron ore is China. It's really interesting to see that a time when our you know, trade battle with China is coming mm. along is that they're really making the, the trade surplus really strong, and their dependence and need for iron ore, and therefore their need to deal with us, is still pretty intense because Brazil is really still in trouble with its coronavirus issues, and Barley which is the, the biggest competitor to BSP, Rio and Fortescue, uh, they actually downgraded their expectations for production um, going forward. And that's part of the reason why uh, the share prices of BSP, Rio and Fortescue have gone up this week. Mm. This iron ore price, can it last? No, I don't think it can last, Pete, but we've probably got six months up our sleeve. And mm. I've got to say, I... Um, you might be surprised that the Treasurer gave me a call this week. To, you know, and Not I don't surprised think. at all, mate. Yeah. You're no, getting calls no, from everyone, Pete. You know, no, but the, the funny thing is, not that he was boasting about, and, he, and he's not a boaster, but he was very happy about the economic growth. Yeah. And so at the same time, I put it in, I said, well, you're getting an enormous lift from iron ore prices. I said, how long do you think it can last that this, you know, you've got this window? And, he actually, and I actually said, I presume... Uh, Brazil and its infection problems are going to be critically important to Vale. And he said, I suspect we've got about six months off our sleeves before you know, Brazil is back to normal. And, and by the way, Pete, economists and treasurers alike are, are not just watching good old-fashioned economic data. We've, we've seen this week that the, the, the most important data of all is around infections and vaccinations mm -hmm. and, the, and the course of vaccines. And this is part of the reason why Things are looking so good. The news from Moderna, the news from Pfizer in particular, sensational stuff for both human beings but also economies and therefore stock markets. So what happens then after six months, Pete? Well, what will happen is Vale will come online and the, and the price won't slump. And that's the interesting thing. It, it, will, it will go to a lower level than what we're currently seeing. It, yeah. it could go higher from where it is today. But the thing is this, Peter... Um, China, they're going to pick on our lobster growers, our wine growers and barley growers. I don't think they're going to pick on our iron ore um, producers uh, until there's so much supply around. And even then, they, their economic comeback is linked to this infrastructure spend. And infrastructure instantly means uh, demand for iron ore and the need for steel. Steel. Well, Blue Scope, and, Blue Scope's been on a tear lately too, yeah. right? Exactly right, which is what you report quite confidently predicted about two or three months ago. <laughs> and along with Woodside, I hope you stuck with Woodside, Pete. I did, um, yeah, but, yeah, I did. Yeah, good man, good man. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, but look, I think the most important thing here, Pete, to understand is, and this is what a lot of the doomsday merchants are totally ignoring, is that China was first into the coronavirus and they were first out. And part of the, the powering of their economy is spending on infrastructure. We're going to do that. Um, so is Europe. So is uh, Joe Biden in the USA. There's going to be an enormous demand for infrastructure spending. And you know, you've been in the US. How bad are some of the roads in the US? And, and, oh, that, and they're the... just the airports as well. It's exactly. Shocking. And so it's all. So I, I think the iron ore prices will remain elevated. Just that the share prices may well be elevated and they'll come back, but they won't slump. Mm. Um, because the demand, the whole economic recovery story is going to be the, the, the big big news story for, for 2021 once everyone's being vaccinated. And uh, I, I can't see a really bad news story on the horizon at the moment. Mm. OK, just quickly, uh, would you be staying with Blue Scope and Treasury Estate Wines? I'm just writing this down, Pete. Yeah, well, Go. with Treasury Wines, you, you'd have to buy now and wait maybe a year. And I've got to say, yeah, I think Treasury Wine Estates and A2 Milk are probably good buy now. Sit on the sideline, keep your fingers crossed that eventually it, it will get sorted out. Uh, and when it comes to Blue Scope, um, my experts say there's still more upside with Blue Scope despite the fact that this has a, a really nice run.